Inquisitor, I must speak with you. What is it? I must explain something first about the Montilier's fortunes. I remember you said your family had been forbidden from trading in Orlais. It's devastated our finances. The Montiliers have, in fact, been in debt for over a hundred years. I had no idea your family's situation was so precarious. Hardly anyone outside the family does. For generations, we've done everything to keep creditors at bay. Sold our lands to stave off interest. It's just... it is infuriating to see my family still reduced to this. I'm to become head of our house. If I sell any more of our land, my family will become destitute. That cannot be my legacy to them. Most people worry about their next meal. Never mind an estate. I'm not blind, but I worry for my family. My foolish sister Yvette with her daydreams. My brothers trying to rebuild our fleet with their own hands. Is it wrong to hope they never know hardship? Is there anything I can do? I'd almost solved our problems. For a while. I negotiated a chance to reinstate the Montiliers as landed traders in Orlais. We could rebuild with that. But when I dispatched paperwork to Val Royale... <sighs> I've just learned my carriers were murdered. And the documents restoring my family's trading status destroyed. Do you have any idea who murdered them? Leliana made inquiries that bore success. Comte Boivert, a nobleman in Val Royale, claims to know who killed my messengers. He has a request. That you come when I meet him, so he's seen publicly conferring with you. What will being seen with me gain the Comte? The Comte will drop hints at parties he's to meet with an important visitor. Allies and rivals will take note. Once he's met you, there will be speculation. The Comte will subtly spin reports to his advantage. He will use us. But if he knows who killed my people, I ask that we indulge him. If that's what it takes to get to the bottom of this, I'll meet this Comte with you. Thank you, Inquisitor. It means... You are too kind. I must know who killed my couriers just to harm my family. At your service.
to work. Let's see what we have.
Those who oppose thee shall know the wrath of heaven. I trust you've heard what befell Roderick at Haven. <gasps> Expertly slumped, my lad. I'd have commanded more attention from the I don't know. Inquisitor, welcome. Thanks to your investment, I have all manner of runners scouring the wake of your adventures. If there's a tome that eludes you, I will endeavor to fill the gaps. I will not deny you a good story nor valuable information. Do you know where this noble wanted to meet us? I do. The Comte Poivre has invited us to his mansion, not far from here. I pray he clears up the deaths of my messengers, as promised. Lead the way. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for seeing us, Comte Boisvert. The honor is mine. Please, sit. It's an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. We appreciate your help, Comte. The death of Lady Montilly's servants must weigh heavily on you. Have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassin's League? My contacts obtain a copy of a document in the archive. Contract for a life. The House of Repose.
House of Repose is hereby sworn to eliminate anyone attempting to overturn the Montelier's trading exile in Orlais. They're not just after your messengers, Josephine. They'll try for you, too. I... I am afraid so, yes. The contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Parquets. But the Du Parquets died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The Du Parquets were our rivals. They drove the Montelliers from Val Royale. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duties. If the people who wanted your family dead are gone, why are the assassins still after you? A contract is a contract, Inquisitor. Our legion businesses live and die by their reputations. The entire guild's welfare would be endangered if an agreement was tossed aside on a whim of time or fate. She's quite right, Your Worship. The House of Repose is doing what it feels necessary, by its standards. I assume you have a thought or two on this, Josephine. The Du Parquets still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a Du Parquet could annul the contract on my life. Uh, that will take time, Lady Montigny. Time during which the House of Repose will be obliged to hunt you. Will they now? You are exceedingly well informed. You're not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the House of Repose deeply regrets. But this is all eight. Even an assassin's word is his bond. Does Comte Boisvert actually exist? Absolutely. The Comte's offer to reveal the killers of Lady Montilly's messengers was genuine. So was his information somehow. A nun to be tied up later. I'm guessing the actual Comte Boisvert met with a fatal accident. Comte Boisvert slumbers in a nearby closet. Nothing more. The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated, monsieur. Your idea to seek out the Paraquet to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in a contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the Guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, Willie. May we conclude with my departure? Go, then. Good day, Your Worship. My lady, I pray we we'll never meet again. Well, I didn't think our meeting would end like this. We'll deal with these assassins. I have some thoughts. Let's discuss them back at Skyhold. I'll feel safer with the castle's walls around me. Did you hear something? Mm. Oh, goodness. Uh, Comte Poivre, is that you? Mm. Oh, the lock's been broken off. We'll find a saw. Mm. I realize the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely... A locksmith, then? Mm. Mm. As you wish.
I'm so sorry, Inquisitor. I never thought my family's trading status would trap us in an assassin's plot. You couldn't have known it would lead to this House of Repose coming after you. It still shouldn't have slipped past me. I've tracked down the last two paraquets. If they become gentry, they can annul the contract on my life. We'll require a noble from Val Royaux to sponsor them, a judge to provide documents, a minister to ratify them. It's so like you to take the longest course of action, even when your life is at stake. I assume you already know everything about this mess. There is a faster way, Josephine. The original contract on your life is in the vaults of the House of Repose. If my agents infiltrate it and destroy the original, the assassin will have no obligation to chase you. Liliana, please. I want no more bloodshed over a personal affair. Don't be so stubborn, Josie. How long will it take you to gather these favors in Val Royaux? We can solve this without more deaths on either side. My people are ready, should you change your mind. I'll post a watch on our ambassador in case the House of Repose visits. I appreciate it, but I still believe elevating the Duparakets will solve this. First, we need to perform some favors in Varwayo. I'd be happy to discuss where we could begin. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? How exactly does one turn farmers into members of the upper classes? There are procedures for granting honored citizens of the Empire the title of Lord or Lady. Very long procedures. And so much paperwork. I've called in a substantial number of favors just to cut through half of it. Why did the Duparakets hate the Montilliers so much they set up a permanent assassination watch? A Montillier and a Duparaket fell in love. A young couple, pledged elsewhere, attempted to elope. The whole thing ended so violently, it's a wonder any survived. It's fortunate the Duparaket's descendants hold no grudges. What if the Duparaket's refuse to aid you? I've already contacted the Duparaket's Inquisitor. They're ready to help us. It will be a long road, but a lordship is a chance to restore a proud lineage to their heirs. Besides, I've promised them a heavy bag of coin once this is over. Are you sure the House of Repose will forget this assassin contract on a farmer's signature? It's perfectly legal. In Valroyo's noble circles, a written word is a bond. Besides, the guild would never risk being so unspeakably crass. These assassins are afraid of being seen as impolite. Breaking one's public oath or bond implies a certain... poverty in our lane. A common merchant may lack the resources or manners to fulfill a debt, but among the guilds, it would be shameful. You said I'd have to do some favors in Val Royaux if we want to make the Duparakets lords. The Countess Dion is our first step. Her lover, a mage from the White Spire, is missing. Bring her news of him and she'll be very amenable to sponsoring the Duparakets as lords. You read the report? It was unusual. Is he always so blunt? <laughs> yes. All right.
Inquisitor. If it was abandoned when we arrived, who named this place Skyhold? Solus says it changed hands so many times, the original builders can't be traced. I read the House of Armitage once built a fortress in the vicinity five ages ago, but the records are lost. 